What's up, Brooklyn Royals audience? Um, I have some really proud news to speak about my children. They just completed an 11 day fast where they didn't eat for 11 days. And so we're celebrating by cooking um, a nice feast that they want. And so we, uh, we've uh, changed the way they feel about food and stuff like that and the way they think about it, which is what I wanted. I'm not, and, um, so right now we have these mushroom um, burgers that we're making and we have some fries. So we're having mushroom burgers and fries. And Wanika made herself an egg roll. Where is it? Where's your egg roll? Show, show off your egg roll. Show it. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. That must have been hot. So right now I'm serving. Look at that. Look at that, yeah. Oh, Look that at that burger. Good. Very nice, all right? Wait, don't, mind, don't mind the mess because we, we've been cooking, so it is what it is. Hey, isn't this one pretty nice? That's sweet for Leo. Oh. That's specifically for Leo. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. But wait, don't eat yet. We're going to eat together. Look at uh, that. Leo, I don't think you have to change your plate because it's already on the plate. Okay. Looks good, right? Uh, we yes. all, all sit down and eat together, so don't eat. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you, Daddy. Look at that. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. There you go. You got the burger and fries, Munchkin. Why you got it? Why you looking like that? Why you got? Mommy, you drop a piece. All right, mommy, you're not supposed to be munching, okay? Look at this. Mm. No. Guys, wait. Cheese sauce and fries. Look at everybody's plate. Yeah. Yeah, don't but, don't tilt the plate. Don't do that, Leo. Not a good idea. I didn't tell you to tilt the plate. Mm -hmm. So, this is all alkaline food, y'all. You know what I'm saying? All from Dr. Oh, Sabi's so list. Yeah. We made the waffles from spelt bread and some banana. Um, the fries are uh, burrow banana. And the cheese sauce is made from walnuts and Brazil nuts, even though my little man tried to tell me yeah, Brazil nuts don't make good cheese. <laughs> I proved him wrong. Yeah, he said it's delicious, guys. Yeah, so, um, bon appetit, everyone. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yay. Yay. I'm at a, um, an advocate or a spokesperson for Apple. But I gotta tell you, I'm loving this new cinematic um, feature on the new iPhones. It's really cool. Yeah. The quality of the video is amazing. Yeah. So how's the taste, yeah? Yeah, yeah eating, how's the taste? Yeah. Good. Huh? Delicious. Good. Delicious. Good? And you can make her own little meal. Uh, I think I think she's gonna feel completely stuffed in a second, and she's not gonna and she's gonna feel uncomfortable because she made a really big uh, big uh, meal for herself. And I, I don't think that and to be that, that wasn't a good. I, I don't think that was a good idea. You might wanna cut that in half and see if you even save some for tomorrow. Mm. So how does it feel to eat after how long you have been fasting? Um, 10 days. days. Wow, okay. 11 days, Juanita. Mmm. So did, was y'all hungry during the fast? No. No. Not really. No such thing as hungry. Okay. Right now we're just eating because we want to eat, not because we're hungry, right? Yeah. 
So, really interesting thing is, these two have been fighting since Leo was born. Or shortly after he was born, like when he could walk and talk. <laughs> and uh, during the fast, they wasn't doing any fighting. Mm-hmm. Yes. Everybody's energy became better, more delightful. I haven't, I haven't heard any arguing, really, or any of that stuff. So um, fasting not only cleanses the body, it also cleanses the mind and the soul. Mm -hmm. Sure does, baby. Mm -hmm. Look at, look at that, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's so good. <laughs> Let's see my, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Uh -huh. Hold it like a sandwich. Why are you holding it like that? Hold it like a real sandwich. Like the way Leo's holding his, like a sandwich. Mm. Look at this munching over here. <laughs> she doesn't even make a, that much of a mess. She's only three. The she doesn't one. even really make a mess, actually. Mm -hmm. And my little man here... It's eight, and he, he, he makes messes. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. And my daughter here, Monica, when she was like six years old, told us that you give her too many hugs and kisses. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny, right, Liam? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Why would somebody say you give them too many hugs and kisses? So, currently, we don't really give her that many hugs and kisses and stuff, because she said that years ago. Um, but, you know, in a family, y'all, uh, you, you, uh, in a family, you have to um, respect everybody's individual character. Even though a family is one, we all have individual characters. And in a family, you have to really know your family so you can deal with them according to their character and not your own character like my middle man leonidas likes to think that everybody's supposed to do what he wants to do like when he wants to play they're supposed to want to play with him and play what he wants to play so i've had to explain to him that that's not how things goes you have to actually respect and like what everybody does and y'all should all be doing and i explained to him that he should do what his sisters like to do, what, and they should do what, and vice versa, basically, on the, on the reverse side. Um, you know, in relationships, I find a lot of people are not, um, like they're in a relationship for the way somebody treats them and not giving back to that person, right? So, So if you have a partner and your partner likes baseball and you, you're you not into baseball, but now you have um, a partner and that partner is into baseball, you better sit down and watch some baseball and get to know all the rules and everything and the ins and outs of the game. Because guess what? You will lose out on time with that person. If that person goes to do what they want to do, and, you and you're do not, a, and you're not with them, you'll lose out on time with that person. Like for instance, my wife lost out on a lot of time with me because she doesn't play video games, and I like to play video games. I could sit down for hours and play video games. I used to do that for hours, a lot. sometimes <laughs> like ten hours straight. That was when our relationship wasn't so good, though. At the same time, um. But even now. I watch you. I could sit in the room. If she played video games with me, that would be yet another thing that we can do together. You're right. Mmm. 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 Leo, your face is dirty. Mm. And that is our family philosophy segment of the show. Now, I'm gonna eat. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. So what did you guys like about the fast? 
less cleaning. Ah, less yep. cleaning. Okay, so no dishes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but less dishes, like you said. What did you like about your fast, Miss Nyla, that was counting the days as it went by? Mm -hmm. Actually, it was Nika who was counting the days. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nyla would come to me and say, Mommy, 10 days today, fasting. <laughs> where's my, where's my, where's my cocoa water? Where's my hemp seed milk? Yeah. Right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, you got nothing to say? I think she's enjoying the burger too much. I don't blame you, girl. <laughs> Nephi, did you enjoy your fast? Yes. What did Mommy, you? I had to pee. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All righty.